guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the third video in the little set of videos that we're doing that show you how to set up a field drawing. So in the last video, we went ahead and finished most of our layouts. So we uh, cleaned up some of the aerial images, set up our control map, control point map sheets, and filled out the field survey tables for the field survey sheet. And we also uh, did a quick refresh of the control point table for the control point table sheet. So now what we've got left is we have the, uh, the control note sheet is basically what we have left. So we wanna go ahead and get that filled out. And you can see I've opened up the TBC project that I used to Address, adjust the control. We're going to pull some information out of here. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go ahead and jump back into CAD and we'll take a look at the notes that we need here on these sheets. So, so first I just have some general notes on the control. So this gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. And I'm going to go ahead and just edit this note. And I'm going to say survey control based on a fast static GNSS survey tied to NGS cores and that's about all the details you need for this one and then we're gonna down here we've got ground or grid so we're gonna say bearings distance and coordinates shown are in ground I, uh, typically at uh, BKF, we work in ground. That's just what the company does, and I don't rock the boat. So this project is in ground. We need to go ahead and add the combined scale factor, the scale point, and this other information here. So we need to pull that out of TBC. So I'm going to come back to this in just a second. We'll get that information out of TBC. We can fill out this information here. So CRS information, we are NAT83 2011 with that epic date. And we want to update this. Horizontal datum reference document is going to be the NGS data sheets for, I'm going to say data sheet force NGS cores slack. That's the primary cores that I'm holding and the datum reference marks so we tie it to slack we got p176 p217 and zoa2 those are the core stations that we used so we're going to say our horizontal datum reference mark reference marks our ngs cores p217 uh, let's see slack and ZOA2. I think that other one, other uh, course was, was uh, PBO176. We'll double check that. Yeah. Okay, and our coordinate system map projection is California State Plane coordinates zone three and we are in us feet vertical datum it's going to be in avd 88 2011 epic date Oop. 2010 epic date Vertical reference document is going to be the same. NGS data sheet for NGS cores slack. And the reference marks are going to be the same. So let's just copy that out of here. Fix that typo real quick. Uh, 
Oh, I just remembered one node I need to add over here on the other side. So up here in kind of my general control notes, I'm just going to add a note that says NAVD88 elevations calculated from ellipsoid heights and geoid separations shown the NGS data sheet for NGS course lack so that people know how I came up with the NAVD88 elevations. Okay. All right, so that's about everything we need on this sheet, except for we need our uh, the data for our scale factor. So let's go ahead and save our drawing, and then we'll come in here to TBC. And I'm going to go ahead and select these points here. And we're going to go to Export, and I have a custom scale factor export set up. So we're going to set the path for this file. And I usually put that in export and it gets the date of the file, the date the file was generated. And then we call this combined scale factor and we will export that. Okay, so we should be done with TBC. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave it open just in case something didn't work. And let's go, uh, you know what? I'm glad I left it open. We need to pick a scale point. Uh, let's scale from, we're going to scale from number nine. I think that looks good. So let me pull this over so you guys can see what we're doing here. So here's the file that we exported. Come down here to number nine. And there's our scale factor. So we got four nines, three, six, seven, five. So let's go ahead and enter that. So that's our scale factor. Scale point is BKF number nine. And scale point elevation. Oop. I'm all messed up here. Is 287.83. And our scale point mapping angle is minus one degree, three minutes, 13 seconds. So minus one degree, thirteen minutes, thirty three seconds, and I'm going to check that because I'm dyslexic. Three thirteen, so it's a good thing I checked. That's three. Thirteen. Okay, so we got all our scale factor information in there. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and freeze our text align layer. I don't need that now. This looks a little cleaner. And same thing there. It looks a little cleaner. I noticed now that I did that that I've got some. Oop. Got a little mistake here in my table just to extend these lines over all right so this should be good now should be able to publish this oh you know what one thing I forgot to do was fade these images back I like to do that so let's grab these we want to try and grab all our images and we're gonna go over here to the properties and we're gonna hit the fade button I usually like mine about 60 or 62 on the fade. 
That just makes the text a little easier to read. Then we're going to go ahead and run a plot just to preview these and make sure they look all right. Oh, it's a thing of beauty there. That's a little dark on those symbols. You can see. So, oh, we might need to mess with that color a little bit. I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want to bore you guys with that because we're at about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to run the publish command. I'll go in there after the video's finished and I'll fix the line weight on those symbols. So we're going to go ahead and delete the model space because we don't need it. We also aren't using this field survey too, so we can remove that. And we're going to go ahead and publish. And I'm just going to put it right here on my desktop for now. We don't want to save the current list of sheets. And so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video while that plots and then uh, we'll unpause the video for just a quick few seconds and I'll show you guys what that PDF looks like. All right, guys, so I, we've got the PDF set now for the uh, the field drawing. So we've got control map one of three, control map two of three, control map three of three. Uh, we got some messed up colors on our field survey table, so we'll have to fix that. So this is just a CTB thing. Uh, that's what happens when your videos are unscripted. So let's go ahead. We'll go in and fix that real quick. And it looks like we got one more of these lines that we need to fix on our table. Field survey table, so let's do that. All right, and we're just going to go into the page setup here and set the right CTV file. Might as well do this one even though we're not using it yet. Too quick on the trigger there. All right, guys. So I got a PDF that works a little better now. So here's map sheet one, map sheet two, map sheet three. Here's our field survey table. And our control point table and our control notes table. Okay, so this would be the PDF that you would just link to a polygon or a point feature in your GIS. And it's really also it's uh, also really easy to just uh, plot this out and give it to your field crew. So they've got all the information they need on their control here, and they should be able to go scout this control if uh, if your crews did a good job when they set the control points. I wouldn't hurt to add a couple road labels on here, so I'll probably go in and do that after the video's over. Uh, but that's basically it. That's basically how I set up my field drawings. Every project gets one of these. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there, watching all three of the videos, and uh, being patient with me as I worked out some of the kinks in that template. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you on our next uh, set of videos. Thanks again.